Hello, I'm Carrie. Today I'm going to narrate a science fiction movie, The Lazarus Effect for you. Zoe worked at the University of San Bardino in California. She worked on a project called Lazarus Project, funded by a biotechnology company. In the experiment, they would inject a Lazarus serum into the brains of recently deceased animals. They then would perform electrical stimulation to get the neural response working again, thus, achieving resurrection from the dead. The team of Lazarus Project contained a total of four members. In addition to the initiator Zoe, the team also included her lover Frank, who was also the lead researcher of the Lazarus Project, as well as two assistants Clay and Nico. In order to record her research, Zoe also invited Ava, a student of the school, to work as a photographer with her. Ava's participation made Clay's heart flutter, but Nico was only attracted to Zoe. He already knew that Zoe was supposed to have consummated her marriage to Frank three years ago, but their marriage fell through because of the project. And Nico's implied concern did not sway Zoe's feelings for Frank. Nico did not know that Zoe's obsession with the Lazarus Project was due to a fire in her childhood. The scene of her neighbor struggling in the fire became her most unforgettable nightmare in this life. There had been a bottleneck in the Lazarus Project that Zoe has had trouble breaking through. But Clay, who has always been a hangdog, suddenly came up with a highly feasible method. So, the group immediately decided to try and prepare to revive a puppy euthanized due to cataracts. The experiment did not go well at first, the puppy named Rocky did not respond to the stimulation of the Lazarus serum. But just when everyone was ready to give up, Rocky, lying on the operating table, suddenly jumped up. And what shocked the crowd even more was that Rocky's cataracts disappeared with the help of the serum. As the side effects of the serum were not yet known, Frank then forbade members to leak the news of the successful experiment. They simply celebrated in the laboratory. But everyone soon found that the resurrected Rocky did not eat or drink and lack of vitality. So, they then examined Rocky. As a result, the serum, which should have dissipated, remained in Rocky's body, and the neurological reactions in Rocky's brain were unusually active. In order to prevent accidents, Clay on duty then locked Rocky in the cage. But when he was ready to play the game, there was a sudden loud bang beside him. Clay immediately went to check and found a mess on the ground. It turned out that Rocky had chewed the cage and escaped. Clay then began to search for Rocky in the house, but Rocky appeared silently in front of Clay like a ghost. So, the frightened Clay asked Zoe, as soon as possible to kill the creepy reanimated dog. On the other hand, Frank also found that under the effect of the Lazarus serum, Rocky became extremely aggressive. And its brain was still rapidly establishing new neural pathways. Frank felt a headache when he thought of the unknown changes that Rocky would undergo. But what made him even more speechless was that the principal had already learned the details of the Lazarus project through the surveillance video. The principal thought that the project was against the basic tenets of human decency and was ready to call off their research. Meanwhile, some people claiming to be from pharmaceutical companies also broke into the laboratory and took away all the team's scientific research materials as well as research results. Zoe then learned that the pharmaceutical company had recently acquired the biotech company that funded them. Since the Lazarus project had violated their previous contract, the pharmaceutical company had the right to take back all the research results. The team's four years of research was all for naught. Zoe was heartbroken. In order not to let everyone's efforts wasted, Frank then proposed that before the school cleaned up the laboratory, they could conduct another experiment. At the same time, Ava could use the camera to record all the experimental process so as to retrieve their research results. At this point, Zoe found that she had left a bag of Lazarus serum and Ava also took out the door card that had not been taken away. So, the group quickly began to move. Ava slipped into the lab with Rocky, then opened the back door to let Zoe and the others in. Then Nico hacked into the school's surveillance system and put the screen into loop mode. After everything was ready, the group injected the dead puppy with the Lazarus serum. Zoe pulled the electric switch. Unexpectedly, she suddenly fell to the ground. Frank, who discovered that his lover had been electrocuted, quickly resuscitated Zoe. After using all the methods available, Zoe was still not breathing. As Frank was grieving, he realized that Zoe, who was always cautious, had not taken off their wedding ring. Thinking of the vows they once made and the postponed wedding, Frank decided to use the remaining Lazarus serum to pull his lover back to earth. At first, everyone opposed Frank's risky move, but Frank was very insistent. They had no choice but to help him complete the operation. But when Ava pulled the switch, there was no miracle. Then Nico noticed that the security guard, coming towards the lab, so, Frank quickly covered Zoe with a white cloth and then hid with the others. 
The security guard checked and did not notice anything unusual, then he left. The relieved Frank just turned around and saw Zoe sitting rigidly under the white light of the operating table. The resurrection of his beloved was the source of immense joy for Frank. The other members of the team, however, found that under the stimulation of the Lazarus serum the usage rate of Zoe's brain was close to 100%. On the other hand, Frank was preparing to comfort his former lover. But he soon discovered that Zoe seemed to be able to hear his inner thoughts, which made Frank a little scared. He then left the room. Zoe at this point was not only able to control objects with his mind, but could even hear what everyone was discussing in the other room. Then Zoe saw a strange change in her fingers. And her panic led to the shattering of the mirror in front of her. In the broken mirror, Zoe surprisingly revealed a sly smile. At this point, Rocky, who ran out of the cage, was looking at Zoe with hostility. The out-of-control Zoe easily eliminated Rocky. And then, the frightened Zoe tried to ask Frank for help. She told Frank, I've been trapped in that nightmare since I died and can't get out of it and it could be hell. But Frank thought that the death she had just experienced was the lack of oxygen to the brain, which led to the childhood trauma to take advantage of the situation, so that she had hallucinations. So, Frank sedated Zoe. After that Ava came to the couch where Zoe was resting. Seeing that Zoe was resting, she was ready to leave. But Ava found herself in an imaginary world in which she saw hands sticking out of the door and a creepy little girl. But just as Ava tried to escape, a burnt hand suddenly grabbed her. Ava woke up from the vision and left the room with crying. After calming down, Ava described to the group what happened to her. It was then that Frank told everyone that what had happened to Ava was exactly what Zoe had been experiencing for years. The similar experience combined with the scratches on Ava's arm made everyone instantly scared. And at this point Nico found out that the school's surveillance has been secretly hacked by the pharmaceutical company. And the company has been spying on them for months. Considering that two zero minutes ago the pharmaceutical company hacked into the surveillance system. In order to prevent the previous situation from happening again, everyone was ready to pack up all their things and leave. But then Zoe was struggling in her dreams, and with the burning flames, the last line of defense of her mind was lost. She then levitated to midair and fell into endless darkness. Nico was Zoe's first target after she became a villain. Zoe pretended to need Nico's help and offered to kiss him. But Nico did not want to take advantage of the danger, so refused Zoe. But such a move completely angered Zoe. She randomly threw him into the closet. She easily squeezed the closet flat as Nico begged. After that, Zoe acted as if everything was fine and said Nico went to the bathroom. And Clay, who has long been unhappy about the situation, was ready to call the police, but found that the line was suddenly cut off. So, Clay and Frank checked the lab again, but the whole lab was also strangely in a locked state and they could not leave. Clay, who returned, thought it was all because of Zoe, and Zoe didn't refute it. She just smiled and let a cigarette fly into Clay's throat, and Clay then suffocated to death. It was at this point that Frank and Ava realized that Zoe had become the villain. Zoe didn't give them a chance to leave. She actually made the objects in the house float up and attack them. Although Frank and Ava managed to escape, but the laboratory had become Zoe's playground. They also experienced one scare after another. And Frank, in order to keep Zoe from continuing to hurt people, was ready to solve this crisis with acetamides. After seeing Zoe at the end of the corridor, Frank then used gentle words to comfort his out-of-control lover. But Zoe was already able to read people's minds, and she quickly figured out Frank's purpose. So, she immediately killed Frank after which, Zoe injected all the remaining Lazarus serum into her own brain. Ava, who was frightened, took the prepared potion with the emergency light and searched for Zoe in the dark laboratory. But the soft Ava was no match for Zoe. She was ruthlessly pushed into the illusion by Zoe. And Ava realized that. The little girl in the illusion is Zoe. And it was the young Zoe who created the fire. That's why the guilt has kept her trapped in the nightmare. Seeing that Zoe was coming to herself, Ava hoped that little Zoe can muster the courage to open the door and repair the wounds of the heart. With Ava's encouragement, little Zoe also immediately opened the door. The holy light instantly dispelled the illusion Ava also inserted the syringe into Zoe's chest. Zoe, who had returned to normal, then collapsed with apologies. By now, the lab had been opened and the fireman had saved Ava. But just as Ava tried to explain what had just happened, she found that the fireman in front of her had turned into Zoe. Zoe then unceremoniously snapped Ava's neck. Finally, in the dimly lit laboratory, the bodies of the team members were laid out together. Zoe then used her own blood as Lazarus serum and injected them into Frank's brain. And with her summoning, Frank was forced to return from death.
that's all for the video, thanks for your support, see you next time.